Hey, I hope you're good. So this week, just back from surgery, is my Roland Rhythm 77, or TR77, from 1972, because it's been out having a MIDI kit installed. Uh, and the kit in particular was the Unipulse Universal Drum Machine interface made by Tubutech. Um, and in a nutshell, how that works now is that there's a MIDI port on the back, and on the inside there's a ribbon cable, and the different parts of that ribbon cable are soldered to the individual trigger points of the individual sounds that the Rhythm 77 can make. So then that allows you to be able to program it via your digital audio workstation or via any kind of MIDI interface, which completely transforms it. Uh, so you can still use it as nature intended, uh, but now there's an extra level of functionality. So you power it on as usual, make sure there's no rhythm selected on the front. Uh, and when you press the start bar, you'll hear a little pop sound that means it's armed. There we go. And now theoretically I can play it via MIDI. So of course the fantastic thing about this now is that the sounds are all coming out of hardware rather than being samples as they were in the most recent video I did with the Rhythm 77 which I've linked in the description if you wanted to go back to that. Uh, so it means I can run the Rhythm 77 through analog outboard and process the sound with the programming coming from my door. Um, so I've got another one of those Maxon RM60 mixers that I've had on the channel before. This one arrived in the original box which blows my mind that somebody managed to keep a box for 35 years, something like that. Anyway, um, if they managed to keep the box, it's no surprise that the actual mixer itself is in fantastic condition. But this means I can then drive and process the sound and EQ it uh, in a lovely analog way, which I've done in another video before, if you want to go back to that. Um, and I'm also going to run it through the Korg Stage Echo, which was Korg's answer to the Roland Space Echo, of course, it's a tape delay. Uh, this is going to get a video of its own, uh, but for now we're going to have a little sneaky peek. So we're going to run the Rhythm 77 through, do some stuff with some synths and guitars and see what it's like as a drum machine. <laughs> So there we go, there was the first outing of my Rhythm 77 as a programmable drum machine. Um, if you're looking at classic Roland sounds, obviously the 808 and 909 are leagues ahead. But if you're looking at the CR78, which is very sought after and very expensive, uh, and also requires an additional switch to program it, um, a Rhythm 77 was, sorry I've now mentioned it on the internet, <laughs> a fraction of the price, um, even when you'd installed the Unipulse kit for it. There's alternatives as well, there's a CR68, there's other uh, Ace Tone and Roland uh, rhythm machines that you can do this to. So I think it's a really cool workaround if you want those kind of vintage analog sounds, um, but you haven't got three grand or whatever it is for an 808. Um, I'm gonna have a lot of fun with this in my studio. I hope this was interesting. Uh, thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.